Hey Collective, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, welcome to Tea Time Tarot. Today I'm going to be reading from my Intuitive Oracles by Mocha deck. I've already cleansed and pre-shuffled. I've divided it into three piles with three different gemstones. Pile 1 has a blue lapis lazuli gemstone, pile 2 has a jade gemstone, and pile 3 has a tiger's eye gemstone. Since the goal of my readings is for all of us as a collective to hone our intuitive skills, I'm going to have you intuitively pick from one of these three piles here. So just take a moment and see which pile speaks to you and you'll get the messages as I read from each pile. So the first pile with the lapis lazuli. Let me give it a quick shuffle here. This one flew out. I'm going to pick three cards. So we have 0707. After a long period of analyzing and studying various topics, it all comes together with a revelation, a shift, and an awakening to the spiritual world. So maybe you find that your intuitive abilities are heightened at this time, or in recent times they've become more heightened, or you've developed a certain curiosity with your spirituality. This one says... The village, working together as a community or in group settings, is highlighted. Rely on trusted family and friends in times of need. So that's pretty straightforward there. This one says, debunked. A conspiracy theory or claim is proven untrue with facts. And I'm going to pick from the Spirit Animal Guidance as an extra card here. Let's see what we get. Just one card. We had two fly out, so I'll go with those. Here we have Woodpecker Spirit. Tap into your roots, allowing them to inspire your creativity and nurture your passions. When opportunity knocks, open the door. We have here giraffe spirit. Rise above worldly matters. Keep your head up high and show up regardless of what you are feeling. So here we have pile two with the jade stone. I'm going to give that a quick shuffle. Oop, this one flew out. I just need two more cards. This one flipped here. And this one came out. Actually, two came out, so you have four cards. Here we have 711. And I have to say, this is a number that I see the most repetitively. Let go of the past. Focus on the future and identify true desires. Relationships blossom and lead to a fresh start in love. Pay attention to signals from the universe. So little things like synchronicities, you know, seeing numbers repeatedly, um, having certain thoughts repeatedly. You may think of a song and it starts to play on the radio. Then pay attention to the messages in those lyrics. Here we have 0909. Explore the full limits of your potential, which will allow you to help others with positivity and spirituality. Assume the position of role model with great responsibility. This one says, great expectations. There is a lot of anticipation and excitement about things to come. Remain hopeful about a bleak situation. So that's positive and uplifting. This one is 1414. I'm back. My camera died. 1414. 
Free yourself from unhelpful things and make changes to enhance your life. A situation improves after a time of challenges. Possible promotions. Progress in romantic relationships. And this ties in with the 7-Eleven card that said, Relationships blossom and lead to a fresh start in love. So that's very positive. So I'm going to pull a card from Spirit Animal Guidance. Let's give that a quick shuffle. We have two cards fall out again. So let's go with both. So we have Parrot Spirit. Be mindful of what you say and the genuine power behind spoken words. Be on the lookout for fresh ideas and signals that indicate a new direction for relationships, work, or spiritual goals. So this also reiterates the energy of relationships and spirituality. This one is Zebra Spirit. Open your mind to multiple possibilities that exist in your environment. You can resolve conflicts in a number of ways so that you can find a middle ground. So next from the pile with the tiger's eye. There is one card that is flipped over here. Let's go with that one. And let's see what else we get. And one more. I'll just pick two. This one says, the common denominator. Is there something or someone at the root of several issues? This one says, alternative facts. Someone is presenting untruths or half-truths to justify their actions or beliefs or to mislead. So be mindful of that. This one says, don't shoot the messenger. Focus on the message you are being given rather than whom it is coming from. This one says, energy vampires. Limit interaction with people who drain your emotional energy because of your willingness to listen and care for them. So set boundaries and don't let yourself be taken advantage of. Be discerning who you share your energy with. And I'm going to pick a card from Spirit Animal Guidance. And since the others got two, I'm going to pick one extra one. So that fell out. Here we have Cardinal Spirit. Set smart goals and clear intentions and do whatever is necessary to align your spiritual and physical energies. So again, another card about spirituality. In general in this reading, but for each of the piles it does touch on that. This one says monkey spirit. Don't allow yourself to get stuck with old routines and habits. Step out of your comfort zone and discover what else the world can offer. And just to keep things balanced, I'm going to pull one more for pile one. Since the others got four cards. Okay, this flipped over here, so let's go with that. Fourth dimensional consciousness. There is an awakening to the idea that we are all connected and that there is more to life than meets the eye. That ties in with the 0707 card, which talks about an awakening to the spiritual world. So collective, that was your reading for today. I hope one or all of the messages resonated with you in some way. And I hope you'll become more comfortable tapping into your own intuition. I wish you a great rest of your day. Love and light. Thanks for watching. 
Hey Collective, I hope you're well. If you are enjoying my readings, I have a small favor to ask. Would you be so kind to take a quick minute and go to my YouTube page, True Oracles by Mocha, and subscribe to help me grow my channel? I would so appreciate it. The goal of my readings is primarily to motivate and to spread good vibes. So please share with family and friends. Thank you and have a fantastic day. If you're interested in purchasing any of these decks for yourself or to gift someone, check out the links in the description section below the video.